A cowboy, a firefighter, and a retired nurse. These are the North Texans who tried to save a life on the Southwest flight to Dallas yesterday. And just into the newsroom, the cause of death for the New Mexico woman who was nearly sucked out of a window. Jennifer Reardon died from blunt impact trauma to the head, neck, and torso. But every other person on board made it out alive thanks to this woman, the pilot, Tammy Jo Schultz. That's her hugging passengers. Not only is the Texan an experienced pilot with the Southwest Airlines, she was among the Navy's first female pilots trained to fly fighter aircraft. Schultz was able to bring the plane down sharply and safely from 32,000 feet, and we're learning just how how difficult that task was. Here's News 8's Rebecca Lopez. Passengers inside Flight 1380 experienced terrifying moments. We now know more about what was happening just after the engine exploded. The aircraft began a rapid, uncommanded left roll of about 41 degrees of bank angle. The plane was violently vibrating. The video from passenger Marty Martinez shows what was going on, but what they experienced is hard to see. It's something they felt. Lad Sanger is a pilot and aviation attorney. The sound of that depressurization, the sudden extreme cold of minus 50 degrees, the difference in the fog and the uh, atmospheric conditions, how that cabin changed, uh, would be incredibly disconcerting to people on board that aircraft. The NTSB says the descent was steep and the landing was rough. The speed it touched down was around, was right at about 165 knots, and that converts to 190 miles per hour. They also released these pictures of one of the engine cowlings that landed about 65 miles northwest of Philadelphia. Something like this is not supposed to happen. Engines that explode are supposed to be contained and not send debris flying, penetrating the cabin. The fact that part of an engine came apart and penetrated the cabin is an incredibly rare event. More people are hit by lightning than right. that happens to. But it did, and now investigators in Philadelphia and Dallas have to pour through maintenance records and the debris. They believe one of the fan blades failed and they want to know why. The design of the engine should be such that it is not possible for a fan to separate and leave that cowling. The engine is used in thousands of planes across the world, so it's critical for investigators to figure out how to prevent it from happening again. The engine that exploded is so popular that every two seconds a plane somewhere in the world takes off with that engine on it. So other airlines are taking a hard look at this and the inspections of their engines, including American. They issued a statement today saying they are closely monitoring this investigation. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Rebecca. Plenty of us are scared of flying already, and what happened yesterday only makes it worse. Here is a look at the safest place to sit on a plane based on studies over the last three decades. The back third of the aircraft had a 32% fatality rate compared to 39% in the middle of the plane and 38% in the front third of the plane. Stay with News 8 for updates on air and on WFAA.com.